It's another day in professional wrestling, so of course that means another allegation, another attack on none other than Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling and it feels like this is a daily occurrence now where someone will come out with an old McMahon story and either claim he was bad to them, he's an evil guy, he tried to assault them, this or that. It's, it's pretty much a daily basis now that we're hearing this. And now it is coming from none other than Rene Dupree. And I believe at the time he became the youngest champion in WWE. Don't know if you want to fact check me on that, but I'm pretty sure when he won the tag team titles, he was the youngest guy to ever win a title until maybe, or I think Orton was the youngest world champion, but I'm pretty sure Rene Dupree was the youngest title winner ever. Now, is that record being broken? Who knows? And to be honest, who really cares? That's not really irrelevant. What's relevant, though, is Rene Dupree. He was on his podcast. He was discuss discussing the allegations, of course, made against Vince McMahon from Janelle Grant. And he brought up a situation with Charlie Haas and his then-wife, Jackie Gaeta. Everyone probably remembers Jackie Gaeta. I would say you're more likely to remember Jackie Gaeta than Charlie Haas. And that's not because... Jackie Guerra had a great career or whatnot. I mean, Charlie has probably had the better career. He was part of Team Angle. He got to share a, a screen with Angle. So, therefore, he probably achieved more in wrestling. But at the end of the day, I mean, he had like a, a solid, what, one-year run as a tag team. And then after that, you know, he pretty much just died. You know, he turned into, I'm pretty sure he was tag team him with Rico and then he had that spell in 2008 where we, he would come out dressed as like a legend a different legend on every Raw but he sucked okay the guy was not very good then of course you got Jackie Gaeta who wasn't very good either on the ring but she was hot you know there's no doubt about it she was attractive and apparently she was too attractive for Vince McMahon not to make a pass at so this is what Rene Dupree said on his podcast and he basically says that Vince McMahon Tried to get with Jackie Gaeta, she refused them, and then she got the whole, you're fired. So this is exactly, this is a quote from uh, Rene Dupree. Quote, you remember when we had Charlie Haas on here and he told a story about how Johnny Ace fired him and Jackie the day they got back from their honeymoon? Well, let's just say Fence also made a pass at Jackie, which she declined. And you see what happened once her and Charlie got married. If you listen to this story, it seems like if you don't put Fence over and you don't boost his ego, he gets mad at you and he takes it out on your career. End of quote. So Rene Dupree basically saying here that McMahon fired Jackie Gaeta and her husband, Charlie Haas, because he she rejected his you know advancements or whatnot. And that uh, if he gets mad at you, or if you don't put over his ego, then he will take it out on your career. Now, has McMahon buried people? Has he been pathetic and childish in the past because maybe someone upset him or did something he didn't like? Of course. But I think McMahon has also shown that if you're a top person, if you've got the ability to make money and be a star and offer something to the show, then there is times where, where he will like forgive you, he will, he will showcase you, he will put you in big matches, he will give you a run. So... I don't think it's a simple case of if you don't do what McMahon wants, you're getting fired. It could be more of a case of just Charlie Haas and Jackie Gaeta weren't that good. And I've noticed that this is becoming a bit like the whole Me Too movement where maybe one person or maybe two people were actually, you know, victims. But then you've got like a bunch of other people that are coming out and they're also trying to play the victim card and that does happen i'm sure that happened in the me too movement you've got legitimate people that were victims then you've got people that come out and cry victim because they think they can get compensation or fame or whatever from it and it seems to be what's happened here with mcmahon you know all of a sudden the janelle grant stuff's come out and then just over the, like the past month we've had so many people come out and speak negatively of mcmahon people saying that mcmahon forced them to do this forced them to do that and like how much of that, I wonder how much of that is true. And even if McMahon did make a pass at Jackie Gator, let's say he did. I, I'm not denying he did. You know what? He he probably did. She's very attractive. She's very hot. Uh, McMahon, obviously owner of WWE, very fucking rich. Rich man probably thought, you know, he could have his way. Probably thought that he could make an advancement and she would accept it. Because I'm sure that happens in a lot of businesses. I'm sure a lot of rich, powerful men 
do make advances at uh, you know people they've employed, young hot women that they've employed, and sometimes the hot women will will want to you know accept the advances, and maybe sometimes they will not. But let's say Jackie Gaeta didn't accept that. I, I don't think that's necessarily the reason why she got fired. I just think she got fired because honestly, outside of her look, she didn't really offer anything. She didn't have a character. She was shit in the ring, and I know back then they didn't really care about women's wrestling, so to speak, but to me, she never really had a personality. I always thought she was, like, one of the dullest uh, divas of that era. She wasn't, like, the most... She wasn't the least attractive or anything like that, but for me, even her name, there was just nothing interesting about Jackie Gaeta. I, I would go as far as saying she was. Around that time period, you just had... Other people were just more interesting or hotter than Jackie Gaeta. So I think it could just be a fact that she wasn't that good and she got fired. And remember, CM Punk also got fired on his wedding day and I don't recall him rejecting a Vince McMahon pass or him or AJ Lee rejecting it. So I don't think that's got necessarily anything to do with it. Yeah, McMahon might try and punish you or whatnot if he doesn't like you. But I mean, maybe Jackie Gaeta just wasn't that good. Maybe it was a coincidence. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not convinced here that Vince McMahon fired Jackie Gaeta because of this. Uh, does that mean that every single woman then that's had success in WWE, does that mean they accepted Vince McMahon's passes? Because are you telling me that Vince McMahon never made a pass or never made an offer to the likes of Trish Stratus or Stacey Keebler, you know, or, or, or Kelly Kelly? Are you telling me McMahon never tried to, you know, get with them? And they went on to have good careers. They stayed in the WWE and they went on to be champions because I think they offered more than Jackie Guerra did. So, look, maybe McMahon did make a move. I'm not, I'm not saying he didn't. He probably did. It's McMahon after all. I think anything that's a living, anything that's a living organism, I think McMahon would probably make a pass at. But I don't think that's necessarily the reason why she's been fired. And I just think we're going to hear it now so many times where people are going to come out and claim that the reason they got fired is because McMahon tried to get with them and they rejected him. Whereas in reality, I think a lot of these people over the years have been fired because they weren't very good and they probably didn't offer the company that much. So yeah, that's my opinion, guys. Let us know what you think down below. Do you think Jackie Gator got released because she rejected McMahon? Or do you think she got released because she wasn't very good? Just going by Rene Dupree's logic, then that would make me assume that Trish Stratus, who got seven titles and a really good run, then does that mean that she was with McMahon? Was she having an affair with McMahon? Uh, Lita had a good run. Did she have an affair? Did all those women that made it in WWE were all the ones that were successful? Did they? have an affair with McMahon. You look at all the women that were pretty much successful, none of them's came out and said that McMahon tried to bury them because they rejected as a fancy. So it almost seems to be the women that weren't very good. It seems to be almost the ones that didn't make it or the ones that have a big issue with Vince McMahon. But yeah, you can be the judge, guys. We'll never know. Rainy Dupree, probably just trying to get people to click on his podcast. So who knows at the end of the day. But anyway, that's it, guys. Catch you in the next one. Let us know your thoughts down below. And peace.